So Wednesday of Intergeo is always the traditional day also for the International Press Conference which took place this year. So um, right now I'm really happy that the CSO of Hinterexpo and Conference is here and many of you know him from earlier times. It's Olaf Freier. Olaf Freier, welcome back. Um, since 2015 this is uh, your official function for the first time so how are you so far how are your impressions did anything change or yeah is it uh, in your eyes sa same <laughs> yeah th thank you very much um, yeah it's my first time after nine and a half years not being within the geo and uh, yeah what I could see is uh, what not changed is the dynamic of the market and and how innovate uh, innovative uh, the, the industry is mm -hmm. Um, of course, the topics changed a bit, but this is of course needed because of the, the overall challenges and, and requirements regarding what we have in the environment, uh, but also because of the technology which of course was developed further. Um, nevertheless, it's, it's amazing, you know, it's buzzing. Uh, yesterday was great, today is, I can't say it, say it with words, it's, it's unbelievable. And uh, what I really love and would like to underpin is um, how how people are here in conversation mm -hmm. ready to discuss solution for tomorrow's future to find a way to reduce the carbon footprint and and use all technologies and and uh, sensors to to get the best out of it to help us to uh, bring this generation but also the younger mm -hmm. generation forward mm -hmm. this fits to my next question so what does intergeo make so unique and so special as the number one platform in its industry sector yeah it's a good question um, I guess over the years intergeo was able to grab the trends and the innovation mm -hmm. of the industry and uh, build a platform with everything what you see here it's not only the exhibition but it's also the conference with the, with the thought leaders and, and the, the key players we have here to, to exchange best practice, but also uh, share the, the latest developments with the, with the experts. Uh, but also, you know, that we that you spread this innovation uh, and, and distribute it to the entire world and make it globally. You know, as you see, what we do here is something, you know, we, we, we share the thoughts, we, we share the ideas, we share the trends. And this is important in, in, in every corner of the of the world, and and also what we what we what you can see here and the visitors can see here is uh, we have a lot of network opportunities. You know, it's not only the stages. We have we have a startup zone which also help uh, younger uh, companies to find their way into in the in the needed way into our business. So it's it's a variety of of opportunities what Intergeo offers, and I mm -hmm. guess this is something which is special. Uh, and and uh, only to give you an idea, what what does it mean? What is the reach of Intergeo? You know, so when you when you look overall on, on our communication we do um, internationally, we, we we have 16 million uh, impressions over one Intergeo year, so called, and uh, over 25,000 followers in the meantime. And it's 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 good to see that. Only in the last 30 days, we win another only 1,000 uh, additional followers to to the Intergeo community. Mm -hmm. that, that shows what kind of position uh, this show has globally. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you look also on the the numbers, what we see until today, yeah. So we are coming close that we have 50 percent of international visitors here at the mm -hmm. show, and this is something which is of course um, an, a success and a success story on that how Intergeo act and how Intergeo work and, mm -hmm. and how Intergeo spread that, what it's needed to, do, to do design the, the next future. Mm -hmm. So the press conference, and you already mentioned some numbers, is always a time to um, take a, sh a small conclusion about how many visitors. You just mentioned half of the visitors are from international um, parts. So uh, what about the numbers of, yeah, exhibitors and visitors in total this year so yeah we are also very happy to welcome nearly 600 uh, exhibitors here mm -hmm. in stuttgart um 57 percent of them coming from abroad which is also a very huge number mm -hmm. and and shows again how international this platform is this is a platform where you have to be it's it's a must attend show and and the who is who of the industry is here as i said also earlier in in, in this conversation and you know 
here, here everything will design and start here with, with what we need in, in the near future. And uh, as we discussed also on the panel, uh, I guess it's needed that we find a new level on how we use and, and how we leverage this platform mm -hmm. uh, into GEO for doing the next step forward and all together. Mm -hmm. So that means, uh, I guess we agree, everyone on the, on the panel, that we also have to integrate the politician much more. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, the, the, the key leaders and key players of the industry um, have to support in this way uh, with the InterGeo in the back uh, to, to address the needs and the demands to the politician. And I guess it can be also a next step and a very good next step, a needed step for the InterGeo to, to extend the level and extend uh, the reach mm -hmm. uh, and, and uh, help and contribute to, to, the, to the needed development for the mm -hmm. future. Absolutely. So this is also kind of a look forward in 2025 when it is due next year will happen in Frankfurt. And when we have a look at this, so what do you expect of next year or what will you work on uh, until next year um, with the advisory board or with the leaders, the leaders today on the panel of the press conference? So what was your conclusion? Where will you go to until 2025 and further? Yeah, I guess there was, was no doubt about that we have a co very common sense on that what we discussed. So it means um, AI and also digital twins, but also BIM and um, Earth observation are on a very early stage. So we know about it. It's not that we have to develop that much on the technology side, but to understand how we can use it, how we can use this kind of systems and, and technology to, to process data in a way that we, of course, are able to, to act quicker just in case something changed in our world. So uh, this is a, was a common sense in, on, on that note. And uh, the conclusion is, of course, to continue the conversation, to con continue the exchange in using this platform mm -hmm. for, for the next years. So with Frankfurt, of course, it's, it's an international known place. And uh, when I look at in, to Frankfurt, I think, uh, of course, the, the international share will grow. And uh, with, the, with, the, with the development and, and the, the, the speed of how AI will go forward and also the, the usage or the use of uh, digital twins, um, I expect that we, that we come to a next level with Frankfurt and, and this is what we would like to showcase and to discuss with the community mm -hmm. to, to yeah, get the right takeouts of this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what challenges does Intergeo and other trade fairs as gender Intergeo face in the coming years? Yes, yeah, thanks God, I'm, I not have to judge and, and to, to think about all other <laughs> shows and events, but uh, especially for, for Intergeo is uh, to, to keep the, the show and the platform ahead the curve, you know, being the platform for all players and leaders of the industry um, to, to discuss the tomorrow and, and uh, the future, on the sustainability aspect, of course, how to reduce carbon footprint mm -hmm. and... and uh, Give, give, a, give a chance and an opportunity for the next generation, mm -hmm. which is, is needed. And I'm so happy to, to see these days how many young people that were here. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it, was, was, yeah, it was really amazing to see this. And this is something which is also, for me, as, not as a challenge. I, would, I, I phrase it also during the, conference, uh, the press conference like this, uh, saying um, it's a privilege. It's a privilege to stay with the Intergeo at this point, to contribute to anyone's future. And uh, it's on us, it's on us, and that means not, it's, it's only on, on the Intergeo side to, to exchange thoughts and, and discuss solutions uh, for tomorrow. It's, it's, it's an invitation to all of us, so it means all the, the, the exhibitors here, but also the, the visitors are invited to design the near future, and, and, and this is, not a, as I said, not a challenge, it's a privilege to be at this cutting edge to deliver that what it's needed for tomorrow. Absolutely. We all want a smarter and livable future. So for all of us, also for the geospatial community, thank you very much for joining us here at Intergeo TV. Thank you very much. And a perfect third day at Intergeo tomorrow. I guess, and I'm pretty sure it will happen like this, you know. Great. Thank you very much. <laughs>